friends, so Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Now, you either love Valentine's Day or you completely hate it. Maybe you're in a relationship or maybe you are a single Pringle. Either way, it doesn't matter because Valentine's Day is a day of love. So if you're by yourself, then hey, pamper and treat yourself. Who cares? So today, I'm going to be showing you the Valentine's Day collection from Lush Cosmetics and I am in love. <laughs> So I have got Lush's Valentine's Day collection in this little box and I'm just gonna dive straight on in. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Kiss Lip Scrub. Now I am in love with the bubblegum lip scrub that Lush do and this one claims to be bubblegum as well but it, it's completely different. Um, this is really cute. I love the fact that there are sprinkles and little love hearts on the top. I just think that's a really cute touch. It does the job. It scrubs your lips. It makes them soft but the only thing I will say about this is it kind of tastes a little bit salty. Um, they've got fine sea salt in the ingredients so I'm not sure I'm that keen on how salty it is but apart from that it's really good so the next thing in here is a shower gel so this is the Prince Charming shower gel now this claims to smell like marshmallow vanilla and fresh pomegranate juice however I personally think it smells exactly the same as Turkish Delight. You know that jelly stuff that tastes like roses? It smells just like this. So if you like Turkish Delight, then you will probably really like this. Next is my absolute favorite, and you guessed it, it is of course a bath bomb. This is the Love Locket. Now this is probably like the biggest bath bomb that Lush have ever done. Um, I think that this is the most expensive out of this collection, but, there is a but. You can get about three baths out of this. You can break it in half and then there's another bath bomb inside. So you can use each half for a bath and then the middle one for a bath. And I think that way you get your money's worth out of it. And it just smells delightful. It kind of smells like Snow Fairy, which is great because I love that scent. And it's just very pretty. So you can go and be a little heartbreaker on Valentine's Day. So yeah, that's probably my favorite one. Sticking with bath bombs, they also have this one which is called the Floating Flower. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a brand new addition to the Lush collection and I think it's gorgeous. It smells like jasmine, however, it's a very, very, very heavy scent. So if you don't like flowers or you don't like really strong smells, maybe this one isn't for you, but I think it's really cool. It floats on your bath water and it makes it completely pink and it smells beautiful. So yeah, I love this one and it's probably like my second favorite out of this collection. So go team. Next, I have got something that you may have already seen on this channel in a shopping haul and this is the unicorn horn because I get to be a unicorn. Corn. Um, it smells like lavender. Oh, a little star just fell off. And I just think it's really cute. Now, I just kind of feel bad for all of the unicorns that they've stolen horns off. Like, poor little unicorns. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool. It's a bubble bar. You run it under your bath and it makes magical bubbles. So you can't go wrong with a bubble bar. I just think they're fabulous. And uh, yeah, I think the unicorn horn is a great product. Moving swiftly on, I'm going to be talking about a bubble rune. I love that word, bubble rune. Um, this is a bubble bar in two halves to look like a macaroon, a little heart macaroon, and it's glued together by gold glitter. And this is a bubble bar that you run under the water and it just makes loads of beautiful bubbles. It smells delicious. It kind of smells like sheer butter. Mm. Yeah, it smells very nice. <laughs> um, this is great. One thing I will say about this, if you have blonde hair or bleached hair, do be careful with this product because it's very, very pigmented. One of my friends used this and came out of the bath with pink hair. So just be careful. Little warning for any of you blondies. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is a little soap. And this is called a Cupid's Love Soap. And it's just a soap. There's not much I can say about it. It's meant to smell like passion fruit and figs. I'm not sure I can smell much of the passion fruit, but it does smell very nice. It's kind of like a fruity scent. And I just think it's really cute. It's like a little love heart so you can wash yourself with love. Wow, that sounded really kind of weird. So that is all that is in my Lush box. Now there is one more thing, and I think there is one thing called the Kiss Lip Gloss, which I don't have, but you can definitely check it out. I will link it down below with everything else. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below of what your favorite thing from the Valentine's Day Lush collection is. If you're new here, then please do hit that subscribe button. New videos every week. There's also a brand new blog post right now on cherrywallace.com, so go and check that out. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next week. Bye!